Rising gas prices have already taken a toll on our wallets while filling up at the pumps, but they're also beginning to hurt in other areas as well, like in the aisles of the grocery store. Particularly, small independent grocers across the region are feeling the pinch. Adam Riley has more on that. For the last 30 years, Kelly Rivers has worked in the retail and food industry and has experienced many of the ups and downs and costs but now it's all uncharted territory for her. I've never seen such a drastic spike compared to now. Gas prices are on the rise with stations across the region inching closer and closer to the $2 per litre mark or surpassing it. Rivers became the manager of Costas Food Market in Terrace Bay late last year and says stores are charged a fuel surcharge for deliveries. For smaller independent grocers, it can get very hard as they don't have the same buying power as large retailers. We don't have the storage space. We don't have the availability to give the deals that others do. And uh, so it makes it a little harder. And they can buy a skid of one product and pay much less than we do for six cases. River says the items being hit already are what she calls the staples, such as milk, meat and produce. When asked if there was a buyer's group between the smaller grocers that might help lower the fuel surcharges and in turn lower prices, she says it could be an option. That would be um, a good tool to help out everyone in the smaller communities, in the further out communities, because we can't, not everybody can travel to Thunder Bay, and especially with gas prices, it's still going to cost them the same by going to a big box store. As of Friday, gas prices are as high as $1.89 in Marathon, $1.99 in Terrace Bay, $1.95 in Scriber, and $1.98 in Nipigon. Adam Riley, TBT News.